Okay, so has anybody been to Humble Sea since they've opened? Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Well, we stole Frank Scott Kruger. He should be working, and he didn't get even a time to dress up for this. But let's invite him. He's going to be giving the award for New Business of the Year. And you should see what he just did. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Frank from Humble Sea. All right, so I'm going to introduce the new business of the year, the best new business of the year. But first, I'm going to talk a little bit about Santa Cruz. When people think of Santa Cruz, outside of Santa Cruz, they kind of think of a kitschy little beach town, a bunch of stoners, maybe a skateboard brand. That's about it. I actually lived in... Argentina, and there was a Santa Cruz hand painted on the side of a 10-story building that I lived in. So Santa Cruz is projecting this, is, this brand, which is great. Um, but what's important about what Cat and Cloud is doing is they are actually diversifying this brand on a national and international level. And it's super important for small businesses like us. And I'm very thankful for them introducing quality and craft into the international brand of Santa Cruz. So we present to you new business of the year, Cat and Cloud. Okay. <laughs> so many hugs. Hi guys. My name's Chris. This is Jared. This is Charles. We're here. Um, wow. We have this little award, and it's really awesome. But oh, you want to touch it? Yeah, 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 touch, touch it. it. Um, there you go. We really, we're here and this has been amazing, but we want to dedicate this to our staff. So we're three people here. Yeah, give it up for our staff, please. They're so awesome. Have you guys been to our business? They're seriously, they're the best. There's 13 people there that are helping us do what we want. And as a business owner, you start a business because you want to share your passion with the world. You want people to experience the things about the product that are special to you, but really the employees that you have are gonna be the ones who are gonna carry out that vision. They have much more of a voice than you do. More people are gonna interact with your brand, your product, and your ideas through your employees than they will through you. So if you own a business and you have employees, especially if it's a retail-based business, I encourage you, don't ignore your employees. They're the heart and soul of your business, the employee-employer relationship needs to be mutually exclusive for you, or like mutually beneficial for you to have yeah. impact. Mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's, that's all. That's it. <laughs> yeah, when we got into this, we just wanted to provide opportunities for people in a way that maybe we hadn't been provided for in the past. And we believe that like, if we can connect our team with the opportunity to grow and pursue their passions through our business, then there can be a symbiotic growth for ourselves and the community. So for anybody who has come in, our staff is truly killing it. I've been I've been on the phone with my team yeah, tonight. They're working. Sure. They're helping. They're replacing our water systems. Like people who get you are going to allow this whole thing to grow. And so for them, I can't. I, we're blown away. Five months in, let's go shoot for the stars. Have a drink. Yeah. Thank you to Matthew and everybody who helps put this on. It's this really crazy age that we live in. There's so much interconnectivity. You can just basically reach out and touch someone anywhere in the world. And I think sometimes that comes at the expense of ignoring people who are in your own backyard. And it's the people of this community who have really allowed us to share our passions with people. So thank you so much. Oh, me too. Me too. We love you and they love you. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thank you all.